Hello YouTube, it's GeForce, and we have the Clone Wars wave of Black Series figures, and we're going to get them out of the packaging. Stick with me and see what it's all about. Okay, so, we have Clone Pilot Hawk. Let's see what he's all about. He just comes with one blaster. Not a lot for the price you pay for these guys. I mean, I think it's all the packaging that you're paying for. So, the first feel feels just like a regular Black Series figure. Again, I don't know why he's got ankle rockers, or I know why he's got ankle rockers, but I don't know why they're $5 more than um, any other Black Series figure, but he's pretty cool. I like that helmet design. The hoses limit the articulation in the head as far as being able to get him to go all the way around but he's got great joints for his shoulders the one thing you're going to want to watch with the clones are these elbow pads the bands go over the joint so the tendency to get them pinched and maybe split is there um wrist swivels Got a little bit of ab crunch and swivel to them. Uh, legs go out about that far. And they have to rotate forward to get them up to 90. Back about that far. As you saw, knees go up pretty good. Ankles or hitting on the back of his armor there so they don't go down very far but they go up pretty good get his blaster in his hand blue harvest's favorite trigger fingers He stands on his own pretty good, right out the package. All right, well, let me get these other three out of the box, and then uh, I'll be right back. I just wanted to rip this packaging up on camera because I can't stand it. <laughs> all right, guys, we'll be right back. Okay, so now that they're all out of the box, you can see they look really good. Um, we went over Hawk a little bit. So let's take out Echo here. And he has the holsters on the side for his uh, pistols as far as his blaster storage goes. Um, paint work on the backpack is nice. They got some metallic details on it. He's got lots of pouches and canisters and utility belt. He's got the handprint on his chest. The... Uh, Shoulder pauldrons are a little stiffer um, plastic, even though it's flexible, is I think they call it a comma. Uh, it does hinder his motion a little bit. The detailing on his wrist gauntlet, it's got some nice paintwork on the buttons and silver on whether that's a whistling bird type of thing or a flamethrower, I'm not sure. Um, the other one's kind of plain, but serves its purpose. Armor looks really great. I mean, 
the likeness on the face for six inch figures, it, it's hard to get much better than that. Um, you can see a little detail on the blaster there. This helmet looks really good. And the rangefinder does move. So let's get that on him. Yeah, that's how we're going to have him does come with the big clone blaster I don't know what you call that a rifle of some sort some big bazooka looking thing and this is the standard issue clone blaster Obi-Wan looks really good as well um, I thought they did a good job on the armor the soft rubbery plastic for his tunic looks really good and he's got the rebellion symbol or um jedi symbol there <clears throat> his belt's got some nice coloration to it with the brown got a little bit of buckle there kind of a coppery color but his face sculpt looks just awesome to me I think this is the best one of a, of the bunch. Um, lightsabers, fully detailed. Uh, looks great to me. Anakin. I'm not sold on his face. It's not horrible. But I think um, I've seen better. The scar on his eye is fine. Um... His little uh, tunic is seems to be a little more pliable than Obi-Wan's. Again, the paintwork, these figures look great. Details on the boots and things. His belt has pouches, and just like all the others, you know. Um, the pauldrons are attached under the shoulder so they get out of the way his gauntlets look great um yeah i think he's a he's a quality figure so i mean like i say it's i've heard a few people say it uh it's kind of a cross between the cartoon and the movies um but i i think he looks fine i don't have an anakin in that uh era so I'm, I'm loving it. So, yeah, I just wanted to do a quick review on this, guys. I didn't want to take up a lot of time. Um, everybody and their brother that is finding these is doing reviews on them or even leaving them in the package, um, which I get. I'm, I'm primarily an on-card collector. Uh, however, I cannot stand these clone cards i hated them when they did them in the three and three quarter inch line and i don't like them still um so i don't have like i said any of these represented in my open figures so i, I was going to open them regardless um to tell you how i got them um i on my hunt i kind of go over that a little bit um first ones i found were Anakin and Echo um, two days ago and they would only let me buy one of each character at the target I found them in um, and I was so jazzed when I saw those two I didn't really dig deep into the stack um, but when I went back the next day to pick these two up again for buddies of mine um, I saw the Hawk and the Obi-Wan. So I don't know if they were behind uh, Anakin and Echo or if they got another shipment in and they were the only two left. I, I don't know. But I'm glad I got them all. Um, they were all on the shelf. I did not have to ask an employee to help me out. I just walked up and they were there. Uh, all at the same target. I went to four targets. Um... Because after I found 
Echo and Anakin, I wanted to try to find the rest of them, so I stopped at three other targets on my way home from work, and they didn't have any, so... Anyway, guys, that is the new Clone Wars wave. I hope you enjoyed it, and may you have the best of luck on your next toy hunt. I'll show you what we do with crappy packaging.